I now would like to introduce to you Representative Daryl Metcalf. Good morning. I'd like to uh, thank uh, Delegate Savonia and Senator McKenzie and the other delegates and uh, senators that uh, were kind enough to invite me down to be here with you on Columbus Day uh, today to talk about this uh, very important issue, an issue that's uh, on the hearts and minds of millions of Americans across this nation. And I think that was evidenced by the overwhelming grassroots fire that was created um, when Congress was proposing to advance amnesty. And their keyboards, their, uh, their switchboards were being shut down, um, call after call after call of American citizens demanding that our elected officials actually uphold and defend our Constitution and protect our nation and uphold a nation that's built on the rule of law. Now, it's no secret that our federal government has been AWOL for decades in doing their job of defending our nation from illegal alien invaders. That's right, I said invaders, not immigrants. People who immigrate here do so legally. They do so with intent and they toil through the process of trying to gain access to the American dream the legal way. Those who have come across our borders uninvited, especially when it's to the tune of millions of people, hundreds of thousands of people a year, I don't think you could call that anything else but an invasion. And every elected official, whether they're federal, state, or local, raises his or her hand and swears to uphold and defend the United States Constitution. And of course, our Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, includes Article 4, Section 4, which clearly states that our government shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion. As a founding member of State Legislators for LegalImmigration.com, it is truly an honor to stand Besides so many dedicated lawmakers, such as Delegate Sabonia, Senator McKenzie, and others here with me, those who do not take their oath of office lightly and fully recognize that defending America's sovereignty and ensuring our national security must begin at home. Well, in Pennsylvania, we've come up with our own package of legislation to try and go after those economic incentives that attract illegal aliens, and, and that's being done across the country in various states. Uh, you've had some success here with uh, Delegate Savonia and others who have passed legislation to, to make it uh, harder on those employers who would hire illegal aliens. And that's truly the way that we're going to shut down this problem, is to shut off the economic faucet that draws illegal aliens to our states and to our nation in the first place. Shut off the illegal jobs, shut off the illegal benefits, come down hard on those who are committing fraud, stealing identities, and committing other crimes against American citizens. Well, in Pennsylvania, uh, we've put together what we call the Invasion PA National Security Begins at Home Keystone State Report. And it's a booklet that we've put together from media reports across our state in Pennsylvania of incidents that have involved illegal aliens and crimes being committed by those illegal aliens. Whether they were murders that took place with a triple homicide in the center of Pennsylvania that was committed by an illegal alien. Uh, we've had, of course, identity theft, molestations, rapes been horrific crimes committed against American citizens, crimes that would have never taken place against those victims if it wasn't for the fact that somebody was here uninvited, illegally, that had invaded our country. Well, last December, state legislators for legal immigration members entered into a working partnership with the Immigration Reform Law Institute, a spin-off from Federations for Americans for Immigration Reform, early as it's known, the Immigration Reform Law Institute. We worked with them to create a comprehensive package of model national security begins at home legislative reform solutions that any lawmaker can introduce to effectively shut off all economic attractions and incentives for illegal alien invaders. Some state legislatures are full-time, of course the majority are part-time, and part-time legislatures have many things that they have to deal with um, above and beyond what full-time legislatures have to, because I think many times constituencies really look at part-time legislators as still being full-time, but you still have a task, you still have a term of office, you still raise your hand, swear to hold and defend the same constitution as I do as a part-time legislator, but you're doing it only in a part-time session manner. So as we were looked at how can we try and 
help our part-time colleagues across the country? How can we work together as American citizens who are serving as state legislators to shut off the illegal alien invasion, to shut it down? And this model legislative package, I think, will help many legislators across the country as they consider what can be done in their own states. Legislation that's been vetted, um, legislation that's been successful in many other states. But while our federal government continues to fail, we the people, state legislators for legal immigration is aggressively working to advance legislation at the state level to do all that we can to protect our citizens. As once again documented in several recent media accounts, when member states such as Georgia, Arizona, Oklahoma, enacted sweeping reforms to sever the economic attractions of illegal jobs and taxpayer-funded public benefits. At the source, the illegal alien invaders hiding out in those states had no choice but to self-deport to a less secure neighboring state or to their country of origin. State legislators for legal immigration will continue to serve as a unifying force to bring all levels of government together to terminate America's illegal alien invasion in every city, community, small town, main street, backyard, across our fruited plains, and from sea to shining sea. We currently have, as was mentioned, 36 state legislatures represented in our coalition. We're working to build that out to all 50 states. Every state in this nation has, passed, has put forward legislation to deal with the illegal alien issue. Even Hawaii, that has had illegal aliens arrested in Hawaii, a state that none of us would have expected would have had to deal with such an issue. But increasingly documented incidents of homicide, rape, property theft, serious infectious diseases, drug running, gang violence, human trafficking, terrorism, stolen jobs, and growing costs to taxpayers are just some of the most detrimental imports being brought across America's unsecured borders by illegal alien invaders who should not be here. Even if America's ongoing illegal alien invasion never reaches your backyard, your doorstep, your workplace, from a criminal standpoint, the presence of illegal aliens continues to empty the back pockets of every working and tax-paying American citizen. Statistics show that 25 to 30 percent of our federal prison population are illegal aliens. So as taxpayers in every state in this nation, you're paying to house 25 to 30 percent of our prison population that shouldn't have even crossed our border. It is long past time for every elected official to stand up and vigorously defend the American dream for legal American citizens first by unapologetically torching the national insecurity blanket of amnesty for illegal alien invaders once and for all. And I would invite uh, all of the legislators here in, in West Virginia to uh, join with us as uh, Delegate Sabonia and Senator McKenzie have done and the, the others who are here with us today. I would invite uh, all legislators, Democrat, Republican, Independent, join with us and join together and let's stand up for Americans first. Thank you. Thank you. 